in this class we will see the rotation in uh, quantum mechanics last class we have seen the rotation in classical mechanics in continuation to that uh, today we will see the rotation in uh, quantum mechanics uh, that is uh, infinitesimally small uh, rotation and the proof for the commutation relations of angular momentum operator first uh, we will see the infinitesimal rotation this is a very small rotation uh, consider a rotation of uh, coordinates of spinless particle over an infinitesimal uh, angle delta pi uh, where delta pi is very small uh, which tends to zero about the z axis that is very important point if we denote this rotation by an operator rz uh, which is a function of delta pi like we have done it for classical uh, mechanics rotation matrix we have uh, rz when rz act on the wave function psi which is the function of r theta pi in spherical coordinate uh, the rotation matrix will affect only the uh, pi component because rotation is along z direction so the wave function will uh, become uh, psi r uh, which is a function of r and t uh, and theta minus uh, delta uh, sorry pi minus delta pi so there is a variation only along the z direction uh, now you use a taylor uh, series uh, expansion uh, for this wave function that is psi r uh, psi of r uh, t uh, theta pi minus delta t then it will become like uh, what i have shown in green color we have taken only the first order we ignored the higher orders so naturally we will uh, take first two so here you have a wave function and here you have a wave function so you take the wave function as a common thing then it will be 1 minus uh, delta pi uh, multiplied by uh, partial uh, t over t pi uh, comparing about two equation then naturally that is comparing about two equation means this one and this one so you can uh, understand r uh, z which is a function of delta pi is equal to uh, this term 1 minus uh, delta pi uh, partial t over t pi so we got this expression r z is equal to 1 minus uh, del, uh, delta pi uh, multiplied by partial t over t pi now we know uh, that t pi uh, pi t pi uh, t, uh, t over uh, t pi can be replaced using this angular momentum or orbital angular momentum operator lz uh, which is equal to i h cross over uh, delta over delta pi so you can make use of this relation from this relation if you bring this uh, to left hand side you will get uh, i over h cross so you can replace this uh, delta uh, pi by uh, this i h cross lz so this will become 1 minus i uh, over h cross uh, delta uh, pi lz where lz uh, lz is the angular momentum operators so uh, here now we have considered the uh, uh, axis along z z axis if uh, you, if you want to generalize this you can replace lz by n dot l where n is the uh, unit vector along the direction of consideration so uh, this can be written as 1 minus i over h cross delta pi n dot l similarly uh, we will take the infinite decimal rotation along x axis uh, with a small angle uh, delta and y axis r y delta and now you take first uh, two order of taylor's expansion that is the second order up to second order 
uh, expansion of uh, Taylor series, then you will get the Rx is equal to 1 minus i delta uh, over h cross Lx minus delta squared over 2 h cross squared Lx squared. So we are taking only first two order. Uh, similarly, y. So here Lx is replaced by Ly. That's all. Uh, then you multiply first Rx and Ry. That is, you are operating with the Ry first, then Rx next. Uh, during the multiplication, you ignore the higher order terms. Uh, that is uh, delta cube and delta 4. See, for example, if you multiply this and this, you will get delta cube, you can ignore. Similarly, if you multiply this and this, you will get delta 4, which also can be ignored. You can ignore the higher order term. You can take out the term up to delta square, then you will get the expression like this for Rx and Ry. Similarly, for Ry, Rx, now uh, I am operating by x first, then y. Here, y first, then x. Here, x first, then y. You can carefully look into the expression. Uh, see, uh, you can uh, cancel second and third term, uh, which is uh, i h uh, cross l y uh, minus, uh, of course, here also minus, minus delta squared over 2 h cross squared l y squared. These two terms uh, will get cancelled because when you are um, subtracting this and this, uh, that is uh, this from this. So you can see uh, minus i delta h cross l y uh, minus a delta squared uh, over 2 h cross squared l y squared. So uh, this term will go away. Then next uh, this one also will go away. Then you see this term. So this term also will go away with this second term of this one. And similarly this last term will go away with the third term of this one. Of course, naturally, the 1 and 1 will get cancelled. So that also will go away. Now you have only this term. I, I delta h cross Lx, I delta h cross Ly. Here xy, remember that here xy minus yx. So we will see what will happen to this. And also you remember i delta, here also i delta. So is, uh, this will uh, become uh, i square delta. Uh, uh, similarly, this is h, uh, h cross square. We will see what will happen, how to simplify this. Uh, so we have seen uh, that rx ry minus ry rx, which is a function of delta, is equal to i delta over h cross uh, Lx i delta over h cross Ly minus i delta h cross Ly. Uh, similarly, this i delta over h cross Lx. So now you take i, I delta uh, over h cross and uh, multiply this and this. You will get i squared delta squared over h cross squared. i squared is minus 1. So this will become minus delta squared over h cross squared this lx ly lx ly will come similarly here i squared delta squared is uh, will become i squared will become minus 1 so minus already here so this will become plus so this will become delta squared over h cross squared ly lx because this is a quantum mechanical operator you are not supposed to change the order of the operator so now you take the minus delta squared over h cross squared outside, uh, then you will get Lx uh, Ly, this term. Since you have taken minus outside, this plus will become minus, minus Ly, Lx. Now, from the classical mechanics, rotation from uh, classical mechanics, we have seen Rx, Ry, uh, minus Ry, Rx, which is a function of delta, is uh, equal to this one rz which is a function of delta square delta square minus one so here uh, in this lecture we have seen rz delta is equal to one minus i uh, over h cross uh, delta times lz not delta lz delta time lz so if we replace it by delta squared 
rz delta squared is equal to 1 minus i delta squared over h cross squared lz. Uh, that means rz uh, delta squared, if you bring this one here, will become minus 1, which is equal to i uh, delta squared over uh, h cross uh, lz. So, this can be, this uh, term can be replaced by this one. That is i delta squared over h cross lz. I, um, uh, of course, minus as that. Minus i delta squared over h cross squared lz. And now, the terms inside the bracket is uh, lx ly minus ly lx is a commutation of lx with ly. Uh, so, we are keeping minus uh, delta squared h cross squared as it is. Now, you compare uh, left hand side and right hand side. This minus will go away with this minus. And similarly, this delta squared will go away with this delta squared. So both will get cancelled. Similarly, this H cross will go away with the H squared. So only H is left here. So you bring the H to H cross to the left hand side then it will become already i is there i h cross lz so lx ly commutation of lx with ly is equal to i h cross lz uh, so this is one of the commutation in similar way uh, we can prove other commutation relation also so this uh, lecture we have seen only the infinite decimal uh, uh, rotation. In the next class, we will see the finite uh, rotation. Uh, thank you very much for watching my video and supporting me continuously.